Hi, my name is Lisa Costello and I'm a support consultant with Awesome and today I'm going to be taking you through creating a workflow. This video is in conjunction with the previous one that was recorded on how to create a custom field to store additional email addresses on a customer record. We're now going to go through how to set up a workflow to merge the standard email address field with the custom field so that invoices can be sent to multiple email addresses at the same time. But first, we'll do a little introduction to workflows and what they can do to help you achieve a NetSuite. The purpose of a workflow in NetSuite is to automate and streamline business processes. It can allow you to define a sequence of steps or actions that need to be performed when certain events or conditions occur in your NetSuite account. They can be used to automate various tasks such as approvals, notifications, data updates and record creation. They help eliminate manual efforts, ensure consistent processes and improve efficiency within your organisation. Some examples of what workflows can be used for are approval workflows to route documents such as POs for approval based on predefined rules. Notifications that can be sent, it can send email notifications or alerts to specific individuals or groups when certain events occur, such as send an email to the accounts department when a customer exceeds their credit limit. Data updates, so they can update data fields or perform, calcula perform calculations based on specified conditions. And record creations, so workflows can be used to create new records in NetSuite based on predefined triggers, such as create support cases um, when a customer submits a web query. Essentially, workflows can save time, ensure consistency and enhance productivity by automating routine tasks and reducing the need for manual intervention in NetSuite processes. So in this video, we will cover a very basic type of a workflow and we're going to demonstrate just one of its uses um, and it's also a common support request. The purpose of the workflow that we're going to create is to merge the default email contact with an email address that is stored in a custom field that we had previously created. And this is in a, a previous video. So if you want to go back and have a look at that one to catch up, then work away. So to create the workflow in NetSuite, we go to customization and workflow and workflows and new. So the first thing we need to do is give the workflow a name. So I'm just going to call it something in it needs to be something that you can go back and easily identify if you need to go back and make any changes to it. And the record type we're dealing with is a transaction. And the subtype will be invoice. We need to give a brief description. So merge default email of additional. And the, te the release date is um, we would normally advise you to put it into testing. So when you've done your testing and you're happy with the workflow, you could come back into your workflow and amend it and um, put it into released. So initiation will be event based. The event is going to be on create. And the trigger type will be before record submit. I'm going to save this. So the next thing we're going to do is create a new action. So we click once we click on the state, we then have this option for a new action on the bottom right hand corner. If we click on the plus symbol and then the type that we're going to be looking for is set field value. And our field um, in the parameters will be email. And then in the value section, we need to click on the option for a formula. And then we're going to enter in the following one. So I'm going to bring it up on screen. So this is the formula that is needed. So is to look at the entity's email and then merge it with the entity of the custom identity, custom entity field that was set up previously with the ID awesome additional email. So this part here that's highlighted in yellow, this part wouldn't necessarily be the same as what you have. And then this where I have the awesome additional email, this is the name that I gave my custom field when I was creating it previously. So again, um, this was discussed in the previous video. So if you need to go back and have a look at that and see where this field was created, then uh, by all means, go back and have a look at that. So I'm going to put my formula into the formula field. And then click save. Now that you have your workflow created, the next time you go to create an invoice for, for a customer and you go to email to them, rather than just using the email address that's specified on the customer record, it will use the email address 
plus any, any um, email addresses that are filled in on the additional email address field that we created in a previous uh, recording. So if you have any further questions on releasing setting up um, a workflow like this one that's been set up, please contact us on support at awesomecloud.ie. And then also if you're using NetSuite and you want to look for any additional information regarding workflows, the Suite Answer article number shown on screen can be used. And thank you very much.